Hello friends, if you are having trouble with CAT VARC, then please try Bodhi Prep's VARC course designed by me. For details, read the message in the video description below. The question says, North American Walnut Sphinx moth caterpillars look like easy meals for birds but they have a trick up their sleeves. They, they produce whistles that sound like bird alarm calls scaring potential predators away. Now this is the first sentence of the paragraph and let's try to understand it. It says North American walnut sphinx moth caterpillars look like easy meals for birds but they have a trick up their sleeves. They produce whistles that could sound like bird alarms scaring potential predators away. At first scientists suspected birds were startled by the loud noise but a new study suggests a more sophisticated mechanism. The caterpillar's whistle appears to mimic a bird alarm call, sending avian predators scrambling for cover. When pecked by a bird, the caterpillars whistle by compressing their bodies like an accordion and forcing air out through specialized holes in their sides. The whistles are impressively loud. They have been measured at over 80 decibels from 5 cm away from the caterpillar, considering they are made by a 2 inch long insect. Now, the author has uh, discussed two very important things. Firstly, uh, the, the sound produced by the walnut sphinx and how surprising that sound is, right? So that these are the two broad issues discussed in the passage. Now, we have to find from these given four options the summary that best captures the essence of the text. So let's, let's read options now. North American walnut sphinx moth caterpillars will whistle periodically. So this is something that we have to check. Are they whistling periodically? Does the passage speak about periodical whistling? And then B says North American walnut sphinx moth caterpillars can whistle very loudly. So here it says periodically, here it says very loudly. The loudness of their whistles is shocking as they are very small insects. So this also is very much in tune with what was given in the passage. North American walnut sphinx moth caterpillars in case of acoustic. Now this is the, the here we have the word deception. Here we had we had the word periodically. Uh, here we have the word they can whistle very loudly. And here we have the word uh, North American walnut sphinx in case of acoustic deception produce whistles that mimic bird call alarm bird alarm calls. And what is the purpose to defend themselves? So this defending is basically not there in option B. It says here the loudness of their whistles is shocking as they are very small in text. But the defending part is very important. Why? Because it says here, right, that uh, scaring potential predators away. So, so uh, uh, this uh, th this this thing is important that the defense part must be captured by the option. So I can eliminate B because at least it says to ward off predators. So this also is indicating defense, and this also is having the word defend. So I have removed B and I have shortlisted A and C. D says North American walnut sphinx moth caterpillars in case of deception and camouflage. So we have one more thing here, camouflage. Now to find the right answer, we must check whether the word periodically is featuring somewhere in the passage, whether there is any kind of camouflage or not. So I will go and check again. North American walnut sphinx look like easy meals for birds, but they have a trick up their sleeves. They produce whistles that sound like bird alarm calls. So we have the deception part. At first, scientists suspected birds were simply startled by the loud noise. But a new study suggests a more sophisticated mechanism. The caterpillar's whistle appears to mimic a bird alarm call, sending vain avian predators scrambling for cover. When pecked by a bird, the caterpillars whistle by compressing their bodies like an accord. So we don't have the camouflage part here. And therefore, I would not uh, mark D as my answer. And when I come to A, it says will whistle periodically, but then nowhere the author has said that they are whistling periodically. So this too is basically a suspect option for me. My best option is C. Why? Because every word fits what is given in the paragraph. North American walnut sphinx in case of, so there is def definitely a caustic deception because, because they produce whistles that sound like bird alarms. Right? The caterpillar's uh, whistle appears to mimic a bird alarm call. But something else is basically happening. That's why there is deception going on. Produces whistles that mimic but alarm calls to defend. And defense is a very important part of the, of the entire this. And that's why option C is the best choice and the right answer.